holy children, this is your Father in heaven speaking with you now. The I am of all creation, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. My children, I am an all-seeing and all-knowing God. I am not a distant God, my children. I am not a God that does not care. And I'm not a man that I should lie. All of my words stand true before you for all eternity. I do not change my mind, my children. I do not change my nature or who I am. For I am that I am. I am the creator of the heavens and the earth. I am the creator of all mankind. My children, eternity rests within your souls, and yet many of you are so blind that you do not see, you do not know, and you do not understand. You do not wish to know, my children. You do not wish to understand, dear ones. For you are so wrapped up in your own lives that you cannot see me. You cannot see me, you cannot know me, you cannot understand the workings of your God or the workings of the heavens and the earth. For you sit in denial of me in all ways. You run around in the world, my children, doing your own things, directing your own paths, when instead you should be asking me to direct your path for you. For then I can clear every path for you, my children, and make it straight. I can clear the way before you, dear ones. I can give you all things abundantly in all ways. If only you would allow me to. If only you would stop blocking me with your arrogance and your pride, your disobedience and your sin. My children, your world is full of those who are hurting and in pain. And yet the majority of you walk away. You walk past them blind deaf and dumb to their needs, to their cries for help, to their cries of despair. Many of you, my children, do not care. Many of you do not see past the bubble of your own lives, of your inner existence, of your own wants and needs. Oh, my children, open your eyes and see. Stop being so blind to the people around you. Stop being so blind to the suffering of others in your world. I understand, my children, that life is sometimes difficult for all of you, that you struggle with certain things in your world. But please stop being so self-focused. Please stop thinking just about yourselves. I want you to go the extra mile, my children. I want you to have the fruits of the Spirit, which include long-suffering. That means you tolerate people when they are in need. You help people beyond, beyond your comfort zone, my children, beyond that which you think is reasonable that you go the extra mile, you go the extra mile for those in need, dear ones. Lift some of the heavy burden of someone's soul. And then when you are in need, I will send someone to help you. I will send someone to lift the heavy burden off of you also. Give and you shall receive, my children. Reach out in love and in return you will receive love, for you reap what you sow. Whatever you put into the world, you get back, my children. Whatever you put into people, you get back. I know it doesn't always seem like this, and sometimes life seems very unfair to you. You feel like all you do is give all the time, and that it seems that nobody's ever there for you when you need them to be. But I'm telling you, my children, that one day when you really need them, I will send someone to you to help you. Also, my children, your rewards in heaven will be great. For I see all that you do upon the earth, every deed that you do to help another soul, every time you reach out in love and kindness, every time you share the gospel of the good news of peace to all in need, every time you help even a little one of mine, you are helping me, you are helping my holy son Jesus, who died on your behalf, who suffered so much for you. For this was the ultimate sacrifice, my children. This was the ultimate act of genuine kindness and empathy and love that anyone could have ever have done for you to die for the sins of the world to shed his blood for you to offer up his life as a living sacrifice for those who are lost in sin so you can be reconciled back to your father my holy son did this for you my children now i am calling you to walk as he walked in the earth to do even greater things 
than the Lord Jesus Christ did upon the earth to shine out my glory and my love to all the world to be a beacon of hope to those who are lost and needy in the world to be full of love and grace and peace to all in need my children I am asking you to reach out now I am asking you my children I'm crying out to you with a heart of love and peace and compassion do not disappoint me now my children do not walk around blind wrapped up in your own needs your own greed your own lust your own desire the fulfillment of every want and need that you have upon the earth without even looking at anybody else's wants and needs my children you are a light shining from the heavens if you believe in me and my holy son jesus and if you are walking me and doing my will if my holy spirit is shining out from you then you are a light you are a beacon of hope you are light shining in the darkness of the world and i want you to be that light my children do not hide your light but let your light shine let your light shine to all the children in the world who are lost and needy at this time let your light shine my children through the darkness through the despair let your light shine my children into the hearts of all who are lost and in despair for you are their hope you are the intercessor my children you are the one that stands between man and god if you believe in me and my holy son jesus the greatest intercessor that ever walked your earth be a bridge for people my children be a way for them to be saved through my son jesus be a way for them to come to salvation be a way for them to learn the gospel of the good news of peace be a light to everybody in the earth my children and let your light shine to all nations let all nations hear your love hear of the love that you have for your lord jesus christ for your heavenly father for my divine holy spirit who lives and rises up within your souls be a light be a beacon of hope my children do not hide in the darkness do not hide in your own world thinking only of your own needs and wants and desires for this is not what i have called you to do do not be accounted among the goats my children during the day of judgment but be counted among the sheep the ones who helped the ones who fed the hungry the one who nursed the sick the ones who gave a beacon of hope to those who are lost and despairing be that person my children be the person who gives be the person who cares be the person who has great empathy and compassion for all in need put yourself in other people's shoes my children and understand that you are not the only ones who have been through things in your world that everyone has suffered in some way and everyone needs me everyone needs my holy son jesus everyone needs my holy spirit within their souls for soon the world will rise up in all terror and for those who do not know me it'll be a very dark dark time my children i want for all to come to glory i want for all to be saved and that none shall perish that all shall come to the glory of god through my holy son jesus so why are you sitting there my children allowing people to perish allowing those around you to go without help and guidance in their lives do you not know that the best way to teach people about me is through love is through showing them through love through actions through kindness through words of love my children this is the way to draw people into the kingdom of god this is the way my children this is the truth just as my son is the way the truth and the life do you not know this dear ones wake up wake up now do not keep being foolish in your ways do not be silly my children at this time do not walk around in sin in disobedience and pride do not walk around in complacency do not walk around arrogant my children thinking that your needs are a paramount above everyone else's needs do not allow your love to grow cold as it has in the world if someone tells you that they are suffering my children then reach out to them and help them do not judge them harshly do not worry about what they have or haven't done for you reach out in love my children just love just be love as i am love 
Be love and grace and kindness and forgiveness, my children. Love them as I love you. Be strong and be true in all that you do. Be a light, my children, and be full of love and grace and mercy, just as I am full of love and grace and mercy for you. This is a word from the Lord your God, who lives and abides forever. I love you so much, my children. I love you now, and I will love you for all eternity. Amen. Beloved children in the world, this is your Lord Jesus Christ speaking with you now. The Son of the Most High God. The one who sits at the right hand of God and the one who came to earth to save you from your sins, to reconcile you through my holy blood and to wash you clean, to renew you heart, spirit and soul, to refresh your heart and renew your youth, my children, to save you from the sins of the world, to reconcile you once again to heaven. My children, surrender before me now and be saved. Receive my anointing power upon your souls. Receive my grace. Receive my strength in your hearts to continue on in the days to come. Receive the power of the salvation through the shedding of my holy blood. Just come to me now, my children, just as you are. Come to me on bended knees and confess to me your sins. Cry out to my Father through my name and be saved, my children. Repent now. Admit to me that you are a sinner, my children. Confess my name boldly in faith. Confess that you believe in me. Confess that I have restored you, that I have saved you, that I have redeemed you from the curse of the law. Come to me now, my children, and be saved and reconciled. Come to me now, my children, in all faith, and I will lift you up in your days of despair. I will protect you, my children, in the days of darkness. I will give you all things. I'll renew you, my children, and I'll create in you a clean heart, so you will become a new creation in Christ Jesus, in my name, in my strength, in faith in me, my children. For I sacrifice my life for you. I lay down my life and shed my blood for your salvation. Do not throw away this chance now, my children. Do not throw away the chance of heaven, the chance of glory, the chance of to come to me through faith and surrender, the chance to be reconciled back to my Father in heaven. My children, do not give away this chance now. Come to me on bended knees and I will save you. I will reconcile you to the Father. I will forgive you of your sins and wash you in my holy blood. And then you'll be one with me, my children. You'll be one with your God. You'll be as eternity, dear ones, while you walk upon the earth. I'll bring you great peace during days of trials and troubles. I'll bless you abundantly in all ways. I'll teach you what it is to be obedient to me, dear ones, to surrender to me heart and soul. I'll teach you all things and fill you with the Holy Spirit of the Most High God. Your lives will change for the better, dear ones. You'll have a new peace inside of your souls and my glory will shine out of you for all the world. My children, I love you and I adore you. Do not deny me now. Do not turn away from your God. Do not be foolish in your actions at this time. My children, one day soon I will come back and collect those that are mine. I will separate the wheat from the chaff, the goats from the sheep. I will bring you in before my heavenly Father and you will face judgment. And you will be held accountable, my children, for every word spoken out of your mouths and for all that you do but for those who are saved through my grace, through the blood that I've shed for you all, if you are truly repentant and forgiven, if you have allowed yourselves to become a new creation in my name, in Christ Jesus, then you'll pass through the wrath of my judgment. You'll pass through the wrath of the judgment of God, of the Most High God, and you'll pass into eternity, my children, 
into the heavenly realms. But without me, my children, you cannot be saved. Do you not understand that I am the intercessor between man and God, between you and, and our Father in heaven? I am the way to heaven, my children, and I am the way to our Father. You must come to him through me. Do not despise my holy name and do not use my holy name in vain. Do not be foolish, my children. Do not think yourselves greater or better than your God, for you are mere dust. You are a divine and holy creation, my children, but you come from the dust of the earth. Of your own selves you can do nothing, of your own selves you are nothing. So be wise and be strong in the Lord and the strength of his might. Be strong in me, my children, and in my might only. Do not be foolish and do not be arrogant or full of pride, for I am here now listening to you, seeing you and walking with you every day. I want to give you salvation, my children, and I want to restore in you a clean heart. I want to take away from you your heart of stone and put into you a heart of flesh. I want to take away all your anxieties and all of your fears, my children, and bless you in every way. But you must be in me. You must be strong in me at all times, my children. And you must believe in me with all your heart and all your soul. And you must love the Lord your God with every part of your mind, your body, your strength, and your being, my children. And you must love your neighbor as yourself and reach out to those in need. I love you, my children. I love you now, and I will love you for all eternity. Amen. Mm -hmm.